Hey guys, it's the Riker Dane. Today I'm going to review the brand new LG G4 that will be LG's flagship device for 2015. I'm pretty sure you're going to want to see what this phone can do, so stick around. Okay, so here's the LG G4, so let's unbox this phone and see what's inside. As you can see right away, the screen is really big. The LG G4 screen is 5.5 inches. The total size is 5.9 inches tall by 3 inches wide. And you may notice that on the edges there are no buttons. Only a headphone port, the charging port, an access hole to take off the back cover, and an infrared sensor on the top. On the back you've got the highly anticipated camera with the f1.8 aperture lens as well as the power button and the volume button. So let's see what else is in the box. We've got a charging brick and a USB charging cord as well as the battery which can be swapped out with a spare battery really easily. This is a 3000 milliamp battery. So let's pop off the cover and put the battery in. It's really easy to pop the cover off, and if you look here, this is where the micro SD memory card slot is. You can add up to two terabyte memory card. And just as easy as it is to pop the back case off, you'll be able to add new premium leather cases to the back to fit your style. So let's power it on by pressing and holding the button on the back. And after going through a simple setup process, you'll be ready to go. The LG G4 is a very sleek phone. And as you can see, there are no exterior buttons on the side of the phone. The only buttons on the back are the power button and the volume up and down. But it does have a slight curve, and you'll notice this when you lay it on a flat surface. And it is pretty rigid as well. It doesn't flex when you press on it. The G4 has a quantum display and boasts a 2560 by 1440 display, which is 538 pixels per inch. Here's a comparison to an iPhone 6. Both have great displays, but you can see the G4's clarity is a lot better. The speaker on the back is kind of annoying because, well, it's on the back, and it is not as loud when you're watching a movie or playing games. When adjusting the volume, you can either use the screen or use your pointer finger to use the volume up or volume down on the back of the phone. One feature I like is the quick memo feature. If you drag down the top of the screen, you can now write on your screen and then send that as a message. You can adjust the pen size and color. And it's really easy to connect external Bluetooth devices. Go to Management, then Settings, and if your device is connected, it will say there's a connection available. Here I'm connecting the brand new LG HBS 760s, and it even has a Bluetooth tutorial if you need one. Another really cool feature is the built-in quick remote for controlling your TV. After going through the setup process and selecting your model TV, you can change channels, change the input, and adjust the settings on your TV. That's really, really cool. Especially if you lost your TV remote and can't find it in the couch cushions anymore. And you can add as many as five rooms and control a variety of devices. As far as functionality, the G4 is really quick. It has a Snapdragon 808, which takes advantage of the 6-core processor and 3 gigabytes of RAM. So yes, it is very snappy, and you're able to move through apps and widgets very fast and effectively. And yes, you can also check the weather. In and out of apps is fast, even with Instagram, which I'm sure you're going to be on a lot with this brand new camera. And streaming video for Netflix is really fast too. Obviously you need a good Wi-Fi connection, but the picture is crystal clear. Even playing games that take a lot of graphics and power, the G4 can handle it no problem. Okay, let's talk now about the new larger f1.8 aperture camera. It is a 16 megapixel camera. It comes with laser autofocus, a flash, and a color spectrum sensor which allows you to shoot amazing photos. Right now I'm shooting in auto, but let's check out some other modes and settings. You have a wide variety of settings. Your grid setting, timer setting, your voice activation for taking photos, and you can adjust your ratio for photos. You can shoot in 16 by 9, 4, 3, or 1, 1 ratios. And for video mode you can shoot in HD, full HD, or ultra high definition. And there is HDR setting which you can turn on or off. 
you can shoot high quality panoramic shots as well. There is also a dual screen feature which means you can take advantage of the front and rear camera so that you can take that selfie while getting a shot of what's in front of you. You can also select simple mode which shows the screen without any settings. Just tap the screen and it'll take a picture. One feature that's really cool on this camera is the burst photo setting where all you do is hold down the shutter button and it'll continuously take photos. And then we have manual mode and now you have full control over every picture you take. You can adjust white balance, manual focus, aperture settings, ISO levels, shutter speed, and there's also an AE lock. One cool feature is the swipe feature when in camera mode. If you swipe up or down or left or right, it'll flip the camera. And if you want to take a selfie, you can open and close your hand to get a 3 2, one countdown. This camera is so fun to take pictures with that you might find yourself taking pictures of anything and everything. All these pictures you see here have not been edited. Some have been shot in manual mode with the levels adjusted. And you can get artistic with how you want your photo to look for each shot or just shoot an auto and they turn out amazing. But along with the photo mode being awesome, it also shoots 4K video, which is ultra high definition. So this video is shot in 4K but if your viewing device you are watching this on is not capable, then you'll not see the crispness and clarity. So here's another video of a hailstorm. The only problem is I had to shoot behind the glass. You can also zoom in as you record as well. One more feature with the video camera is that you can pause your recording to cut out certain parts of your video. This footage has not been edited. As far as pros and cons, there aren't really a whole lot of cons. This is the best camera in a phone a consumer can have. There are way too many features to show in this video. One feature that I did not show is that you can set up your own hotspot. This can come in really handy. One con, if I had to have one, is that the battery life could be better. But that's where LG comes to the rescue with being able to swap out a spare battery. And if your battery is dying, the phone even has suggestions for power consumption so that you can turn off some settings for better efficiency. With the 16 megapixel camera and 4K video, this phone is going to be a social media sharing powerhouse. This camera is so fun to use in auto or manual mode that you won't be able to put it down. And if you don't like the style of the back, you can always change it to the premium leather cases that will be coming out. So there you have it. That's my review for the LG G4. Tell me what you think in the comments section below. Make sure you like this video and share it with your friends. And also check out my channel for other tech reviews. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Mm-hmm.